Hey guys, thanks for joining me. It's Grant with anglingauthority.com. Today I want to talk about a really cool bait from Gambler. It's the Weeble Finesse Worm. Yes, the Weeble Finesse Worm. This is a five inch worm from Gambler. Uh, it's a smaller, thinner profile. It has little ridges on it. Um, it's a great worm for cold front conditions, cold water, or in high pressured areas where you're getting bass, um, you need, really need to work hard to get them. Uh, this is a great little worm that I use and I'm gonna show you guys some rigging options that I use. Now, I've got, here I've got the first rigging option. This is a wacky, uh, great finesse option. You, you know, I use a, a weedless wacky hook. Uh, another option that I use is a Texas rig. Now I use a three aught extra wide gap hook with a small uh, 1 16th ounce weight, and I'll just Texas rig it on, Texas rig it on there weedless, and I'll just throw it out and you know let it sit, uh, pop it up once in a while, or even lift your rod very slowly to see if you've got any weight, and it's a great option to do. Uh, and now this, what I'll also use is the Freedom Tackle uh, Zodiac jig head. Now this is another uh, what I use for smallmouth because. Smallmouth being very aerobatic fish, I find that they, they get a lot of torque on the hook and they can throw it, throw it on you. So what, what this does is it allows me to fight the fish without them being able to put pressure on the hook. It's a great option for the weeble worm. Uh, another thing that I do, and uh, this is on days that you know the fish are, are chasing baits and they're more active, uh, with, with a little bit of wind on, on the water, I'll, I'll use a swim jig. And the weeble worm, believe it or not, makes a great swim jig trailer. Now I'll just rig it up, push it on just like a regular, just like a regular uh, trailer. And what I'll do is I'll pop my rod up and give it, give it a bit of action. So as I, as I'm retrieving, I'll shake my rod tip, and that's what gives the weeble worm trailer the action. Uh, you know, the weeble worm it doesn't have a paddle tail, it doesn't have, uh, you know, uh, paddles or craw, craw claws or anything like that. But as you shake your rod tip you're giving the weeble worm action as the jig swims. Um, and you experiment with it a little bit, find out what the fish are looking for. Um, if you kill it and as the jig goes down, you get hit, you know to, to, to swim it and then kill it, and swim it and kill it. Or if you're, if you're shaking it along and you're getting a lot of attacks as the, the jig swims, you know that you know, just give it a constant shake and you'll get, you'll get a lot of action and um, you'll get bit. So this is a good good option. This is a great option for uh, you know days where you know bass are chasing baits a little bit more, or you want to fish faster, or you're finding that swim jig works. But uh, you know you find that a lot of other guys are using paddle tails and that kind of thing. The Weeble Worm, very nice uh, swim jig trailer. Pretty cool, pretty cool bait. Uh, comes in a lot of colors. Uh, you know, Gambler's got you covered: black, green, pumpkin, watermelon, red, copper field. Uh, any color you could imagine, just check the website out. Uh, it's gambler-lures.com uh, and check their Weeble Worm, the Worm section, and you'll find the Weeble Worm under there. Um, really cool, uh, really cool finesse bait, which has um, some other uses as well, and uh, you'll find that it's a pretty cool bait.